Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Undercut Creepy Past Day, where we look at some fucking piece of shit. Today, we're gonna be looking at an Arthur one. Hmm. Arthur. Hmm. Enjoy. The Death of Mr. Ratburn, a creepypasta by Yoshi Wee One. Warning, the following content contains blood and gore. It also contains disturbing imagery. Viewer discretion is advised. Introduction Arthur, one of the longest running cartoons behind The Simpsons. It first aired in 1996 and is running today. Of course, the show is now a complete joke. What I'm here to talk about today is a lost episode I found of Arthur. This episode was a top secret episode that no one other than the Arthur cast and crew have seen. The episode was made in 2011 and was meant to be the series finale of the show. The episode was completed shortly before Nine Story took over the show. After the cast and crew watched it back together, period. They were horrified and scarred for life by the episode's graphic content. Skip line. Mark Brown and Greg Bailey warned them not to watch the episode. They too were horrified and shocked as they thought this was the way to put down the show. The producers made an oath to solemnly swear everyone at a cookie jar entertainment to never reveal this episode to the public. As the move to Nine Story beginning, they took all of the tapes of all Arthur episodes except this one. One employee wasn't aware of the tape and thought it was just a useless blank tape. He threw it out and the garbage truck came and picked up the trash from the dumpster. This is where I came across the tape. The tape before the episode. I was dumpster driving for some cardboard boxes to give to my grandfather for his eBay business. As I was digging through some cardboard boxes, I noticed a tape. It was crudely marked in Sharpie, Mr. Ratburn. Okay, wait. Time fucking out. A couple of lines up, you said one employee wasn't aware of the tape and thought it was just a useless blank tape. If Mr. Ratburn was written in Sharpie on the tape, wouldn't the employee know this? So we're already off to a good start with some uh, stupid ass, fuck ass, dumb ass characters that are probably so stupid that they need to be reminded to breathe. Anyway, I was a former fan of Arthur, so I took the tape home to watch. After I got home, I turned on my VCR. I rewound the tape before playing it because you know, be kind and rewind. After it was finished, I pressed play. Episode. As soon as I pressed play, the PBS contribution screen appeared. It looked and sounded normal, which really baffled me since the tape looked damaged. The intro was normal as well. But after Arthur and Buster swam across the screen, the pool scene, period, the frame rate slowed down dramatically and the water faded into a blood red color. Ooh, blood. Nice to see you, Mr. Blood. The screen then turns red and Mr. Ratburn appears on screen. A very loud TV speaker exploding, HEY! with 5,000 fucking exclamation points. Shouted by Mr. Ratburn shook the whole room. It startled me bad. I think I just skipped a few heartbeats. The screen shuts off for about 10 seconds. The real episode starts with a overhead view, similar to the old Resident Evil games. There is no music or sound whatsoever. Only footsteps and doors opening can be heard. Arthur gets out of bed all dressed ready for school. He was looking a bit uneasy. He leaves his room, goes downstairs, and out the door. When he opens the door, there is an extreme close-up of the door opening. As he is walking to school, there is still no music or sound except footsteps. When all the kids arrive at school, 
They look as if they're about to have a nervous breakdown. They open the doors to the school. The camera again has an extreme close-up of the door in a black background. Just like Resident Evil. Now there is music, but super creepy music. It's the Shadow Temple music from Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. The students were walking to Mr. Ratburn's classroom. Again, another extreme close-up of the door opening. The students take their seats, but Mr. Ratburn was not there. He arrives late for class. Dot, dot, dot. Sudden Gigas theme from Earthbound plays. As he is about to teach class, he starts acting erratically. He starts twitching his eyes, shake his hands, and a heartbeat goes off. There is an extreme close-up of his face. It appears as if Ratburn is about to have a heart attack. His eyes turn blank and he makes a devilish smirk with blood splattered on his face. He then screams like he has never done before. His screaming sounds like the voice actor voicing him is suffering in pain. Screaming for the pain to stop. Just very realistic screaming as if the actor was like this for real. Really driving that point on home, aren't we? The screen flickers and gets distorted. Pretty soon, half the screen is covered in Ratburn's screaming mouth. He starts vomiting blood and chunks of his flesh, period, for five minutes, comma, he screams, and the color starts disappearing from the picture. Then the screen goes black. The end now a word from us kids segment appears. I thought, oh god, not this, I, I can't watch. Believe it or not, it does look pretty normal. A class of six grades go to a meat farm. The butcher shows them how to cook chicken. What can be bad about this? The kids had to severe the heads of live chickens with butcher knives. The kids were screaming since they saw the chickens running around without a head. I paused the video and threw up in the bathroom. I just couldn't take it anymore. I thought, is this a sick joke they are something? WTF were they thinking? The now back to Arthur scream appears finally, but the pic was a solid red circle. For the next five minutes, it shows Mr. Ratburn's deceased body lying there in an overhead view. It is still picture. The music playing was Akana Valley from Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. Then the screen shows Mark Brown, the creator of Arthur, laughing at his desk with red blank eyes for the rest of the episode. His laugh is distorted and demonic sounding. The screen's color slowly disappears, eventually leaving a black and white screen of Mark Brown laughing. The episode ends. Aftermath. I race to the VCR, period. Go to the sink and get a glass of water to pretend like it's holy water. I said, my, the power of Christ compel you. Dumped the water on tape. I grabbed tape and threw against the wall a few times. Then I grabbed a hammer and just smashed the crap out of the tape. It finally breaks, so I toss it in the garbage can outside. I destroyed everything else except the film. Conclusion I destroyed the tape. I never saw it again. I told my friends and my family about it. No one believed me. In conclusion, I am personally disturbed by this jarring episode. WTF or the producers thinking by making this. Do they just want to end Arthur with a bang or something? That I will never know. The end. Holy fucking shit. Um, where do I begin? Okay, um, this was requested to me a while back by TVB, and I gotta say, this, um, this was a fucking dumpster fire. One glaring point to me was the employee who thought that the tape was a blank tape, even though it had Mr. Ratburn written on it in Sharpie, is a complete fucking dumbass. Couldn't even get himself out of a shower of shit. How did he fucking get a job working at Cookie Jar Entertainment or PBS or whatever the fuck? How do you even know the backstory of how this tape came to be in your fucking dumpster? 
There was no explanation to how you knew that. Not to mention the fucking grammatical errors in here with the misplaced periods and commas. Seriously, if you look at this story, I'll link it down in the description. Take a look at all the misplaced periods that are supposed to be commas connecting a sentence together. Reading this just gave me an extra chromosome. It had nothing going for it at all from the very fucking beginning. Also, not to mention using music from other franchises just cuz, fam. That'll make a lit creepypasta. All in all, this story was a complete shit show. Zero out of five dog shits. I fucking hated it. Every single thing about it. It fucking sucked. This will conclude today's episode of Undercut Creepypasta. If you enjoyed what you saw and listened to, please hit the like button. If you didn't enjoy, you know what to fucking do. This is Utonical signing out. Check out my social links in the description. And if you really enjoyed, hit the subscribe button to see more. Love you all and take care. I'm going to go fucking feed my testicles to a crocodile. <laughs>